Hi, I'm Carl, and this here is Tanner. Today we're going to talk about a movie we made about boys and girls just like you, who had someone they loved very, very much die. Come on inside with us while we look at it. Come on. Come on, Tanner. So this is my friend, Eamon. Hello. Eamon is editing and working very hard on the film. Uh, the film you're about to see, you'll meet a woman whose name is Helen. Helen is working with a group of boys and girls just like you. They've all had someone who they loved very, very dearly die. She'll be talking to them about death and how it makes them feel. I want to tell you about a very special group that we have and this is a group for little people who have had somebody very special in their life die. It's a group where kids can come and they can talk about how sad they felt when they found out someone died. They can talk about how angry or how mad they felt when someone died. It's a group for kids where they can come and be with other kids who've had somebody else important in their life die. So you find out that you're not alone, that other kids have had to deal with this as well. Some of the kids that have come to this group have had people die in different ways. Sometimes people die if they have been in very, very, very bad car accidents. Sometimes people die when they're very, 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 very old, or if they're very, very, very sick. And sometimes people die when other people hurt them so badly that their bodies cannot live. Who died in your family, Matthew? Uh, Nana. Who is Nana? Nana up in heaven. heaven. She's up in heaven? Who Wait. died in your family, Michael? Scott. Who is Scott? What happened to Scott? He died. He crashed in an airplane. Christian? Um, Who died in your family? Daddy. Your daddy died. Yeah. And your name is? Tiffany. I'm five years old, and my dad and my sister and brother died in my family. In in our group, we find out that you have you can have a lot of feelings. Tiffany's feeling. She's feeling sad today. Look at Tiffany's sad face. That is a sad face. What comes out of your eyes when you're feeling sad? Tears. Tears. And when you're feeling sad, it's okay to cry. When you cry, it lets the sad out. And if your mom is crying or your dad is crying, that might make you a little sad because you haven't seen them cry before. So what you can do if mom and dad are crying is to give them a hug. You might also find yourself feeling very happy because maybe it's your birthday or maybe grandpa and grandma are coming to visit. How do you feel when you get a present? How do you feel? Happy. Let's have a happy face here. Great big smile. You may find yourself very mad because it's not fair and you miss that person who died and you feel very lonely and you wish that they could be there to play ball with you or to go shopping with you or to make cookies with you. How are you? Okay, that's great. You're feeling mad? I'm so mad. How's your mom's feeling today? Or your dad? My mom is feeling I'm a man. She's cool today, huh? I want you to be that one. You want to be cool. I wish I were cool, but I'm not My mommy is mad. My mommy is sad. Lots of times you feel very sleepy because there are so many people around and you have so many feelings. It just makes you very tired and you're very worn out. One of the things that Helen does is to read books that talk about death. Let's go into these pictures. Oh, that is a crab. I wonder crab. if that crab is dead or alive. Right. You think it looks alive? No, it's dead because okay. the red stuff. The red stuff makes it dead, you think? It's, but it's blood. Mad. Where's his eyes? It's hard to find their eyes, uh, isn't it? Okay, let's just find out what else. Oh, here. The butterfly is dead. How can we tell? Because the red. <coughs> The wings are broken, aren't they? I see nothing. Can this butterfly fly anymore? No. no. And then this talks about sometimes different ways that people die. Like here's an accident. 
This is a, a truck, and what your dad died from was what, what hit your car? A train. A train, yeah. And right away somebody called what? Who would assist? The ambulance? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And is she getting help? Yeah. I don't think that's a lie. He's standing up. I wonder about the snake, though. A snake. He looks pretty limp, doesn't he? Because of the red stuff. What is that red stuff, do you think? Blood. Do you think? Oh, you guys know a lot. I have a... Do people die? Yeah. Some yeah. people die, don't they? How about this little boy? He's standing. So he's what? A lot. Yeah, and people die for different reasons. How come people die sometimes? They're really, very sick. Very, and very, they get very, cancer very, like very my sick. Daddy. Yeah, your daddy had you cancer. Mean, you can even... Or an accident? Yeah, and that's what happened to Michael's godfather. He was in a, an airplane accident. Yeah. Sometimes people die when they're very, very, very old. If you have a tummy ache, does that mean you're going to die? No. no. Be very, 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 very sick, don't you? Because when you're dead, your body's not working anymore. So. Kind of feels cold because your body's not working. Do we feel cold or warm? Kind of warm because our bodies are working. Mine is hot. You're hot. Because. And says so sometimes people get mad when people die, and this little one is kicking some blocks, and she's saying, "It's not true. Grandma isn't dead." Can we remember people when they die? Yeah. We can talk about them. We can visit the grave. We can look at pictures. We can, can practice something they taught us. We can put something of theirs in a very special Ew, place. Their tongues out. We can remember funny things. Can you remember something funny about your dad? He would throw me up no. in, my, in the air. He would throw you up in the air? And What's catch And catch you? Can you remember something about your dad? Well, me and my dad always went to the park. We had a fun time. So you can see that when somebody dies, you can have a lot of feelings. Sometimes you have two of these feelings going on at the same time, and that's okay. Like Helen said, you may go through a lot of different feelings. You may be sad because you missed the person who died. You may even be angry because they died and they didn't say goodbye to you. Whatever it is you feel, remember this. It wasn't your fault. You didn't cause the person you love to die. And nobody blames you. When you talk about your bad feelings, it's always good to remember the good times also. Like Christian did in the movie. Christian remembered his dad taking him to the park. Tiffany remembered her dad throwing her up in the air. The people you love that died would probably want you to be happy. So do we.